Welcome back. This is gonna be a back to school makeup and outfit idea. I know most of you already went back to school, but uh, yeah, last couple of weeks have been really rough around the house with some viruses and then the back to school. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna share most of the products that are gonna be Mary Kay products. So they will be listed in the description box down below. I started by I started, oh goodness, um, by priming my face and also on my eyes so the makeup will last all day long. Now moving on to my eyebrows, I want to do something very natural so I decided to use the color espresso and then kind of lining them and filling them in and brushing them just to make sure that they are kind of put together but still looking natural. Now I use my MAC Painterly Paint Pot because I wanted a matte base for my eye look and then I moved on to the color hazelnut this is a very nice transition color and with the other one that I'm gonna apply into my outer V they just blend amazingly and create an something that I really love now I'm gonna blend that eyeshadow really well with a just fluffy br blending brush and then I'm gonna move on to the color espresso this is the same one that I use on my eyebrows and I'm gonna apply it only into my outer crease I'm not gonna go under my crease but I want to make sure that I create that light to dark color these two eyeshadows, are, let me tell you, they're amazing and they work very well together. Now I went back to the color hazelnut and that fluffy blending brush and I'm just going to blend those two colors together. Such amazing pigmentation that they don't actually blend into the same color, they keep their intensity. Now I'm going to go to the color white lady which is matte and I'm going to blend the edges of the two colors that I applied on my crease, just making sure that everything looks very well blended and I don't see any harsh lines. Now I'm gonna go back to the white lily color and with a flat uh, shader brush I'm gonna apply this more intensely into my lid area. I want something really white and something that it will make my eyes look more awake. Kind of lost a little bit of the espresso so I went back a little bit more and blended that into my outer uh, V or actually the crease. Now I'm going to line my eyes because I have small eyes and if I don't do that, at least a very thin line, um, my eyes kind of disappear. <laughs> then I apply a coat of mascara and you can leave it there or you can apply falsies. I'm going to apply falsies for this one because my lashes are non-existent. Now since I'm not going to put too much drama into my lower lash line, I decided to use a really good kind of concealer, something that it's going to blend into my skin it's not gonna look too dramatic but then at the same time it's gonna hide all my dark circles and this is in the color beige too now since i wanted to look very natural i took my time and blended it very well now i'm gonna apply my number 11 lashes by kiss this ones look very very natural and i don't even apply mascara on top of them because i do want them to look that way for my foundation, I didn't want to apply something too heavy, so I decided to go with the CC cream and just blend it into my skin with my buffing brush from Real Techniques. It's gives me a lot of coverage without looking cakey. Now I'm going to go to the Medium Dark Bronzing Powder by Mary Kay and with this expert face brush, I'm just going to apply it into the hollows of my cheeks and I'm not going to do it too intensely because I still want it to look natural. Now I'm going to use the color Sheer Bliss, this is a cream uh, blush and I'm going to apply it into my cheeks. This I find that it lasts a really long time and as you can see it looks very natural and it gives me like a glow to my cheeks which makes it look more, I don't know, healthy. 
I also use my Mary Luminizer by The Balm just a little bit because I wanted a little bit more of a highlight and then I set my foundation or the areas that I tend to get oily with my translucent powder by Mary Kay and this brush by Real Techniques which is the blush brush I don't know why but I love it for powder now for my lips I decided to go something really light and comfortable this is the True Dimensions lipstick in natural beauty as you can see it transformed into a really peachy color that I do love with this kind of makeup now that's the final look I decided to put a really high ponytail I think that's always in fashion and since I have long hair it kind of looks cute so that's how it looks and now if you want to use it with glasses I think this looks really nice and those lashes are not too long so they're gonna bother you with the lashes and with the glasses I should say now for my outfit I decided to use this statement kind of uh, I don't know how you call it but it has a really nice design and I decided not to wear any kind of jewelry or anything like that I wanted to be very casual all the links for the outfit will be listed in the description box I hope you like it and that will inspire you if you needed some ideas to back to school thanks for watching remember to thumbs up if you like it and I'll see you in my next video bye guys yeah.